On the surface, you may think this title, Son of God, is the most powerful one among those claimed by Jesus. In one sense it is, but like Abba last time, it needs more context to give it that power. Initially, it may be a surprise to learn that a survey of the New Testament reveals something unusual about the title Son of God. Namely, it was used exclusively, or almost exclusively, of Jesus incarnate, in human flesh. Later in church history, on into today, it's used of the pre-incarnate Jesus, before he came to earth in the flesh. You might think it's a pretty powerful title, but as critics are eager to note, it was a title used of humans in the Old Testament. That the God here means the God of the Old Testament is an important defining context, but it still doesn't tell us much about the nature of the relationship. What I'm saying is, it's not entirely without meaning, especially when paired with the qualifying phrase, only begotten. It does signify Jesus' unique status with relation to the Father, but like Abba, it requires data from the other titles to obtain its full significance.